The frustrated creature you just watched is the atheist gamer responding to my video anti-feminist confusions. You know that this video is going to be full of fun when you're responding to a monkey. Whoops. I mean a- I have voices in my head. They count for me. They understand. They talk to me. In my video, I make the observation that anti-feminists routinely label numerous human activities as feminism, even though those activities are simply ordinary and everyday behavior. Well, I guarantee you that you're basically making up arguments for them so that way you can refute them. That's not their fucking arguments whatso fucking ever. In the atheist gamer's response, he claims my argument is basically stating that anti-feminists are opposing feminism because they want to appear righteous in order to be the good guys in order to win. He also insults me by calling me a monkey, but I'll get to that later. Well, you did call me a frustrated creature, so... What? The atheist gamer is partially correct in his accusations. Yes, I do observe that non-feminist things, such as a woman's rejection of a man's romantic advances, is now being called feminism. That telling a joke about anti-feminist rage is now being called feminism. And that inserting a feminine keyword in a Wikipedia article is feminism. But his claim that I suggest anti-feminists put the label feminism on a range of mundane activities in order to appear righteous is inaccurate. It may be an implication of my argument, but it's not the argument I am making. My argument is simple. If you observe the way anti-feminists talk, everything they do not like is labelled feminism. So basically, by your logic, if we hate it, therefore we have to label it as feminism. So, me hating this movie right here, and we all know how bad this movie is. Basically, we just label it as feminism and therefore we hate it. Seems about right. Let's just say that these three anti-feminists didn't like any of these actions because it, it because of feminism. Let's go with that. You're basically la labeling every anti-feminist as these common core arguments that anti-feminists have made. I don't see many, many anti-feminists coming up with the exact same arguments that you're presenting right now. Which is totally fucking bullshit. I have been on the internet for quite some time. I have seen multiple feminist videos and I can prove to you that I have multiple, multiple videos made by feminists. And I have seen the common core arguments made by feminists. Let me provide a few. The wage gap argument, catcalling, uh, the objectification of women. Those are the few arguments that I've presented that has been made by feminists. That is the common core argument that feminists have made. But you're basically creating arguments for anti-feminists and then labeling as the common core arguments that feminists, anti-feminists have made. And, uh, excuse me. And then think that, th that you're somehow proving anti-feminism wrong. Here is what else the atheist gamer has to say. Your name is Bewildered Ape but you find things to be bewildering. Just as much as how I find it bewildering that you are defending feminism. Again, the atheist gamer is mistaken here and also demonstrates my point. Criticizing the practices of anti-feminists does not mean that I am defending the opposing ideology. Well, that seems rather odd, considering that you seem to have no problem with feminism. If you were truly neutral in the matter, then you would have gone after feminism as well, exploiting their, um, I'm going to say their weaknesses. <sighs> and plus, you pretty much seem to be outright supportive of feminism. So... I guess maybe you're right. 
Or maybe you're just trolling us. Hmm. Seems rather odd. Good looking loser is not just a guy fooling around. In fact, he takes his pickup artistry very seriously. He has made hundreds of videos advising male humans on how to pick up women, and also coaches them on what attitude to have, including a sense of entitlement. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good afternoon. All you guys out there in the Good Looking Loser community, this is going to be the first video in probably what will be three or four part series called A Sense of Entitlement. Okay, so like I said, I talked to a few of my friends on this, actually four of them. Okay, all of these guys have, at least from what I see, certainly, a sense of entitlement. They all hook up with really hot girls, and they all feel they are deserving to do so. Basically, I say this. You, uh, tr having a sense of entitlement is when you truly feel you deserve their pussy. And for good-looking loser to call a female a feminist simply because she did something he didn't agree with is a very good example of how anti-feminist labeling practices have gotten out of hand. No, it is not. You're basically taking the actions of one individual and then labeling, labeling anti-feminists as this common core argument that anti-feminists have made. This is a very weak example. This pretty much falls in line with the Christians using Adolf Hitler as an example to explain on why fe explain why atheism is wrong because the actions of one individual somehow reflects the actions of every atheist in the freaking world. Now, if you were to provide more evidence for it, like, oh geez, provide more than just one simple video of somebody calling a feminist just because someone rejected them, then you may have a point. But until then, you're gonna have to try a little bit harder than that. What the atheist gamer does not understand is that Just the Car's entire argument rested on the notion that evil Wikipedia feminist inserted the word femicide in the article. But there is no evidence of that being the case. The word femicide is basically a word that is made by feminists for feminists. And the majority of people using this word is basically, well, feminists. Sure, there may not be any so-called evidence to prove that this was made by a feminist, but who's more likely to say the word femicide? Someone who is a feminist or someone that isn't? And the same thing applies to someone that may be racist. Who is more racist? A hillbilly or a scientist? If your answer is a scientist, then grab your nearest banana and shove it up your Now granted, I'm not exactly the greatest expert on this, However, Feminism Lol has made a video about the term femicide. Links in the description. And she describes femicide as a way to make the deaths of women more valuable than the deaths of men. <sighs> and quite frankly, I do in fact agree with this. I'm not trying to imply anything by the joke. I'm simply observing that Thunderfoot claimed feminism poisoned the charity fundraiser. When, at best, all he can really say is, an inappropriate joke poisoned the fundraiser. This isn't about on how Rebecca Watson makes a terrible joke, therefore it's feminism. No, it's about on how Rebecca Watson gets away with this joke because of her status, as either because she's a woman or because she's a feminist. Or perhaps both. You should have realized this double standard right now. If a man makes a dongle joke, holy shit, this guy needs to have his penis served on a silver platter. But if someone on the likes of Rebecca Watson makes a joke about man's penises, then it's completely fine. You see, there is a massive, massive double standard when it comes to feminism. That's a fantastic way to start raising money by creating a such a piss poor joke and then blaming other people for not understanding the joke and use her freaking 
status as a way to get away with any form of criticism whatsoever. Seriously, this is the type of person that receive, that rather receives death threats than actual criticism made by Thunderfoot. She actually did, in fact, say that. Inappropriate jokes and feminism are not the same thing. Anti-feminists need to stop calling everyday things feminism. It's like, what's a good analogy? It's like calling everything men do misogyny. The funny thing is, is that there's a problem with certain feminists. Not all, just a certain few, such as Rebecca Watson, who basically called a guy misogynistic when he decided to offer coffee to her. It's not like he wanted to have sex with her immediately. He basically wanted to have coffee with her. And somehow... To her, that's misogyny. Yeah, funny on how the world works. Hell, even looking at a woman in a inappropriate way is somehow misogyny. When we're just fucking looking. I... <laughs> And the funny thing is, I can actually provide evidence. And in addition to that, you insult me. You call me a monkey. I'm not a fucking monkey. I am an ape. Maybe even a stupid ape. But to call me a monkey, it's the worst insult you can give to an ape. Well... I didn't think that you would get so upset by this. But from this video, you don't deserve to call yourself a freaking ape. You're an insult to apes everywhere. I don't call you a monkey. I respectfully call you a human being. I could call you an ape. After all, humans are part of the great ape family. But I don't even do that. You know, I wouldn't really care if you actually did insult me. I mean, I am pretty fucking hairy. Just look at me. Fucking hairy as hell. So, really, you can go ahead and call me an ape or a monkey. Because, quite frankly, I can actually take a few hits. Please don't call me a monkey. Thunder- You don't understand Thunderfoot's video. Because you come up with the conclusion that, you know, if, if feminism means inappropriate jokes. When it's not the case. You are a very stupid monkey. The- the-, the I mean, Justin Bieber. Let's, let's take Justin Bieber, for example. This guy is still fuck you know he's been racist he's been making stupid ass shit and yet the fans defend him this is basically the feminazi version of justin bieber it doesn't matter on what rebecca watson says her fans and everyone else who apparently the joke was innocent apparently she's gonna get away with it You know what? I thought it was bad enough that you called me a monkey. But disrespecting Justin Bieber, for that, I should fucking rip your face off. Oh, someone's fangirly! My religion is zoolatry. I worship animals. In particular, the animal I hold as most sacred is the human being. I wish I was human, and I try to be like a human. In my particular denomination of human worship, the particular zoology I follow is believerism. That's right. I am a believer. Justin Bieber is a god to me. And you cannot compare Rebecca Watson to Justin Bieber. You know what? You're right. I should never compare Rebecca Watson to Justin Bieber. I would like to apologize to Rebecca Watson to comparing her to a biggest pile of shit ever and of course the biggest pile of shit is definitely justin freaking bieber because at least with rebecca watson she's a dumbass but a harmless dumbass justin bieber on the other hand is a reckless dumbass that's probably endangering people's lives as we speak 
I never denied that Watson's joke might be offensive to some people. My contention was that it's not feminism, it's simply a joke. I'm not even defending the joke or its offensive content. But Justin Bieber, he's not being racist. He was just a stupid young teenager substituting the word nigger in his song for lols. Still doesn't mean that you should avoid any form of responsibility for your own actions. Just like someone might take a historically racist song and substitute the word nigger with black chick for commercial gain. Eeny, meeny, money, mo. Catch a bad chick by her toe. If she holla, if, if, if she holla, let her go. Justin Bieber wasn't doing anything any more offensive than Sean Kingston. The context in which Justin Bieber said the word nigger is what matters, not the fact that he said it. I will let Thunderfoot explain it to you. I mean, don't these people realise that language is context specific? The word nigger is neither universally offensive. Go back in there and chill them niggas out. Can't do shit without some ignorant ass niggas fucking it up. Nor does it make a lot of sense to always allude to it as the N word. A couple of years ago, I recorded an item for Top Gear in which I quoted the rhyme Eeny Meeny Miny Mo. Now, of course, I was well aware that in the best known version of this rhyme, there is a racist expression that I was extremely keen to avoid. I don't think you understand the point of my argument. The argument is simple. Because these jokes are in very poor taste, yet these people are actually at a higher power, therefore they get away with it. However, apply this joke, this racist joke, to somebody else that isn't well known, that person's head would most likely be on a silver platter. There's a massive hypocrisy going on in the world. And it's not just made by feminists, but people around the world as well. So, that is all I have to say for now. I'm very sorry that I could not get to you sooner, but now that I did, this is something that you may need to reflect upon. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace! If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google Plus fucking sucks.